We are rolling out the red carpet for the $10 Perspective. Uh, they are debuting a film at the Sarasota Film Festival. We've got your ticket here with more is Jeff Wensler, executive producer and also producer Ryan Anderson. So great to see you guys this morning. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. So this is an incredible documentary and uh, you've already gotten some feedback and people are already watching. Talk about, well, first of all, the $10 Perspective and what people can expect with this film. The $10 Perspective is um, a documentary, it's a short one, and it's meant to be educational that eventually is going to be available at no cost mm -hmm. on our website. But yet the, the film is to give voice to the voiceless. A modern day leper colony is a place that's just very avoided. Mm -hmm. And these are beautiful people that are so tirelessly working and have hope and resilience. Mm -hmm. And we've been working with teenagers down there for many years. And we want to be able to show those incredible values and that human spirit to bring it to the world through film. And Ryan, you spent some time, the people that you are talking about, this is uh, mm -hmm. people who are living in a landfill community. What was that like and, and what did you find out once you got there? Yeah, I mean, as Jeff said, it is sort of like a modern day leper colony. Even the people of Kingston say, don't go to Riverton. Um, it's what you would expect from the outside. It's dirty, it's poor, it's a little bit sad, but these people have a story to tell and mm -hmm. these people are beautiful people and they have faith and resilience and hope. And when you take the time to just step in their shoes and attempt to understand them for who they really are mm -hmm. and not their condition and not their, their environment, you find that uh, we're really not that different. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's, it, that's a beautiful thing. We were it's kind of chatting during a break, and I was talking about how people kind of get caught up living in their own little bubble, mm -hmm. you know, to the reality of what really does go on in the world in a lot of other areas. Being that was your first time over there, right? No, that was not. Um, I went first with the Pivotal Directions organization as a student about six, you know, five years ago, um, and I came back three more times as a student and then the org asked me to work for them. So I've been going back for, um, for a while now and I think that gave us a big advantage uh, in making the film because we already had strong relationships with the people so we could dive into some of the complexities mm -hmm. of what makes them tick um, and, and who they are as people because we knew them already. And going back to the first time that you visited, do you remember what your reaction was like or, or, or what that did to you when you saw that for the first time and how they were living? And Yeah, I've been taking students, uh, college and high school students, for almost two decades mm -hmm. all around the world to do different types of volunteer and service projects. Mm -hmm. And this one particular community in this landfill touch my heart and it touches all of these young people's hearts. So that's, we wanted to embed ourselves and actually live there. So Ryan and I actually lived in the landfill community and that's how we told the stories from that perspective. Mm -hmm. You also met a young girl who was living with uh, life-threatening scoliosis who you've really changed her life as well mm -hmm. and uh, have been able to offer her medical treatment, right? right? That's pretty incredible. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the power of film, right? Um, as we were saying, these people sometimes don't have a voice. And to be very clear, this film is not about us. It's not about really even our experience mm -hmm. in the dump. It's about sharing their perspective. Mm -hmm. And to have the ability to share her story with the world and have people respond in a manner to help her get the treatment that she deserves mm -hmm. is something that Amazing. we're ecstatic yeah. about. Yeah. Well, make sure that you check this out. You are looking at video of it right there, the Sarasota Film Festival. That's going to be this uh, this weekend, April 8th at 6 p.m. And you can go online for tickets, sarasotafilmfestival.com. We've got that information on the screen. But bonus, you can also get... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yep, the Pivotal Life is a book that I published in the last year, and it is journeys. It, it, it catalogs the journey of the organization, mm -hmm. why we ended up in the landfill community and some of the people. So it's the same value as a ticket, and if they come up and say that they watched us on the blend down here, gonna that they're going to get a book. Congratulations, everybody. You are the winner. You just got to make sure you go there and get that <laughs> ticket. So thank you both so much. And uh, as you said, some stories just have to be told, yep. and this is one of them. So you guys need to make sure you go and watch it and Sarasota is such an easy drive so make it out there check out the film festival and ten dollar perspective so great to have you Thank both you. on and uh, hopefully we look forward to having you back come and give us an update after it's uh, debuted and let us know what you guys have been up to thanks